Regretfully, I have to go back on my word. I said I was going to put the Amy Robach, TJ Holmes GMA three story to rest. I felt like it played itself out until GMA made a decision, but someone tagged me on this story on Twitter, this article in Fighter, the open secret affair that everybody apparently knew about. Uh, they're explaining why it uh, snowballed into a tabloid nightmare. This is a newsletter that pulls back the curtain on the media, but there's some takeaway in this uncovering that kind of hits the blame for the tabloid nightmare, according to insiders. The comm shop class is in session. The comm shop. Communicators are there to pitch your stories, pitch your products, sell your products, write amazing copy for your products. We're there to pitch the press. We're there to help message when things are great and when things are not so great. The one thing you want to do with your comms people in the comm shop is don't blame them. It's not our fault. It's rarely our fault. Oftentimes when there is a mismanagement of an issue, it's because the comms people are being told to respond in a certain way, or perhaps they have nothing to respond to because no one above them or in management wants to speak. In many cases, they're just the mouthpiece. So if your organization is ever going through anything, if they're going through it, don't blame comms. Now in the GMA case, that was an insider newsletter and people might be complaining because the PR of it was botched. I mean, certainly how a consensual affair turned into a multi-week crisis just really kind of speaks to how it was mismanaged. And it still isn't even complete. Uh, but insiders are not. Don't blame comms. Class dismissed.